One of the best things about the Roku is basically that you can watch Netflix on it, okay? And why it's so good is that some people, you know, it's up to yourself really, they can watch Netflix on their laptop or things like this. But, you know, if you want to be watching on a laptop, that's okay maybe if you're on your own. But if you're there with the family or friends or something, you don't really want to be doing that. So with the, with the Roku, as you'll have seen in other videos, you'll see how small it is. You just put it beside your TV, connect it to the internet. And away you go basically okay so i'll just show you here now one of the uh, good thing about the roku is when you get it netflix is already installed on it okay and in other videos we'll show you how you can add on different um channels and things like that but netflix is already on it so if you are over to netflix and just hit the okay button it'll bring you in then okay so once you're in there then you can see it'll give you things like things you've pre previously searched for things you've recently watched um some of your favourite films that you may have rated using the Netflix application within the Roku. And then also you can look at films, uh, you know, look for films by genre or perhaps you can actually use the search function itself, okay? And by using the search functions you can search by a film name or perhaps an actor or something like that, okay? So I'm just going to scroll down here now and you can see... Uh, these are, is into the genre section here now and it'd be some of the new releases that are available on this um, on the Roku uh, using the Netflix application. Now the thing about Netflix in Europe currently anyway with Ireland and the UK especially is that the, the amount of films is limited um, at the moment. I They're in negotiations you know for film rights and licenses and things like this and this will expand massively over time but for the moment anyway it, it's it's there is a good selection on it but I would say it's limited but it's definitely going to uh, get uh, larger, okay? So you can see there, just as, as regards um, new releases, like you have Blitz there and you have some TV programs, um, documentaries, things like that, okay? So in the TV programs then, this is one of the better things currently at the moment. And I'm actually myself just going through watching the whole series of 24 again. So I'll be a bit of a Jack Bauer addict. So it's a real treat now, I can tell you. So you can see there then they have likes of South Park and The Office, uh, Weeds, Outnumbered, even something for the kids there, SpongeBob, um, the IT crowd, Scrubs, things like that, okay? And then you can go down, you can see other um, genres like action and, action and adventures and like they have the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Expendables, stardust things like that you have some anime um if you're into that sort of thing they have it broken down by british kind of films then children and family films uh comedies documentaries you know dramas foreign films horror films uh independent films you know romantic comedies and sci-fi things like that so it's very handy from that point of view so um that's basically it so just say you wanted to actually you know there's a film there and you want to watch it so all you have to do is basically arrow up down left right use them keys go to the one you want and we'll say I want to play this film here the parent trap and all you have to do is simply click OK and that brings you in then it gives you a little a little blurb about you know what the film's about you can either play or you can rate it um, and you can get some information about the audio and subtitles as well but if you just want to play highlight the play click OK and you'll see there it's retrieving so it's fairly quick now, you'll see. And there it is, it's starting. And once it's starting then, if you don't want to watch any of the intros, you can just fast forward through it by using the forward buttons. And when you want to play again then, just hit the play button. Okay, so it's as easy as that. And uh, if you actually were watching a film and you had to stop it, it'll give you the choice if you go back in, do you want to resume from where you were or do you want to start it again, things like that. Um, and if you just want to get out of the film, all you have to do is simply in the top left of your remote, there's a return button and you can do that and it'll bring you back to you know your previous page. Um, or if you simply want to get back to the full Roku menu, you hit the home button, it's a little symbol of a house on it, press that. And it brings you back to the home there and then you can do other things uh, from the Roku menu itself. So that's it basically, an overview of how you use Netflix on your Roku.